Pashu ethno nationalist is asking Armin, your old MEK mate, Mushtaba, was on mm -hmm. Apostate Prophet's live stream today. What do you think of prominent channels giving an MEK member such a large platform to spew his views? Now, before Armin even speaks, I want to firmly reject and say I'm pissed off at your in, you implying that Armin is in any way friends or buddies with Mushtaba, also known as the perfect Dawa. Okay. Screw you for that. There are few people who I go after MEK as hard as Armin does at the cost of other people who would otherwise support him. Okay. I think he's joking. I don't think he was me, me meant he meant that. I don't think he like he knows. I think he knows how much I'm anti MEK. But I don't know. When it, someone has an ethno nationalist in their freaking username, I, I kind of, yeah. I, I don't, I, uh, oh, I, no, I yeah, no, he's saying, no, he, that, no, no, he's saying it was, uh, it was irony. Okay. Passion as a nationalist, you have to understand that you, you can't, it's hard, it, you can't tell if something is a joke or not over text. Okay. So, and we don't Anyways. know what you're assuming. So, yeah, no, he's, he, that mate part was a joke. He didn't mean Okay. 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 Okay, because that was a big accusation, and I will not stand for that. I will not stand for this slander <laughs> against Armin. Okay, but continuing. Okay, so this oh. is something I really wanted to talk about today. So for those who are not aware, AP had a stream, a live stream today, and it was called like a conversation with a progressive Muslim. And he had advertised that he was going to have this conversation. When I saw the picture of who he's going to have a conversation with when he posted about it in his community tab, I commented, this mm. guy supports M.E.K., the uh, terriest... Uh, Full we, word we can't say because of the YouTube let's algorithm. Just say, let, let's just okay. say it's a, ter it's a terrorist group. It's a terrorist group. Okay. Mm. And during the live chat, I was watching it and I sent two super chats. So if you watch it towards the end, he reads my super chats. So I confront, I confronted Mushtaba. And I said, has Mushtaba been forthcoming and transparent about his support and membership with the group the terrorist group known as mek mm -hmm. and ap asks him this question and he's kind of like wait what what's this about and mushaba basically goes on to be like oh these are just unfortunate lies that people believe from the iranian fascist regime oh that we are terrorists and all this I, i'm so trained to say terrorists <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> that we're just terrorists and really we're freedom fighters and all this stuff and i was screaming at my scream i'm like no this is bs don't believe him and he starts talking about mariam rajavi and all this stuff and um ap's kind of like oh wait what like what's this all about like i i wish you had told me about this and then he, yeah mushaba kind of goes on to continue try to talk about it and he's like yeah. i don't know i don't really want to talk about it because i don't know what this is all mm. about like i'll have to look into this and then i made another comment later about like the reason why because everyone in the live chat is during the conversation was talking about like this guy's his views on islam and like socialism like all this stuff it doesn't make any sense like it's completely inconsistent with an islamic understanding like everyone was like what what is this guy even talking about and so i made another live chat where i was like his inconsistencies can be explained by his belief in the mek ideology which is a bastard mm -hmm. idea like extremism rooted in this mm -hmm. bastardization of islam and communism which equals a really ugly baby and so okay that being said when it comes to apostate prophet i genuinely think apostate prophet didn't know this he should have i think he should have like he should have like done some research because this guy is a person that is like this guy is worse than Muhammad Hijab and Ali Dawa and Daniel Hayraju. He's a terrorist but, sympathizer, openly. Yeah, bec because it's so amazing. Because like they're like they, like Apostle Prophet and others think like they're like considering Muhammad Hijab and Daniel Hayraju and Ali Dawa as like fundamentalists. And there's this other Muslim like, oh, don't worry, we're the peaceful Muslim guy. Like we have the alternative, you know, peaceful Muslims. But he is worse. He's an act. He's a member of a terrorist organization. Like at, at, right now, Muhammad Hijab and Ali Dawa and Daniel Hagaju, they just like they just have YouTube channels. They haven't participated in officially endorsing a terrorist group, right? Um, but this guy has, and this guy is now being put out there as like an better, maybe a better alternative or like a peaceful version of Islam. No, this guy is the worst. This guy is the worst kind of. These are people that are actively responsible for 
um, assassination of not not just like not people from the Islamic Republic of Iran of innocent people these people the, uh, of their own members these are people that encourage their own members to burn themselves alive for Maryam Rajavi these people have like uh, you know they, they get their members to have to take poison pills these are people who are trained from childhood to give their lives for Mariam Rejavi. This is not, but by, by the way, this is this MEK people. I don't know if it's if it's even as Islam. This is Mariam Rajavism. These people worship, a, they don't worship Allah. These people worship Mariam Rejavi. Okay, this is like if they're coming and trying to sell this to you as a more peaceful version of Islam. MEK is the marriage of communism and Islam. And with the god, with a goddess, with with that, and replacing Allah with Maryam Rajavi as a goddess. That is what MEK is. It's actually the most horrific Frankenstein monster of two of the worst ideologies on the planet, and it's extremely dangerous. It's I would say MEK ideology is actually more dangerous than Islam. Okay, and these people are would not. These are this is a this is a group of people that are willing to sacrifice anything, including Iranian people, for for getting Maryam Rajavi to to power. They they burn their own people alive for the sake of Maryam Rajavi. This is like, yeah. Go on. You want to say something? These people will openly deny the crimes committed against the Iranian people, the MEK mm. did. Horrific things. And I'm not, I wasn't going to let him get away with that without someone saying that during this live stream. Okay. Just like how I will not let people whitewash the crimes committed against thousands of MEK members by the Iranian regime in the 80s. They are also the victims of one of the largest mass ex executions in the past century. Okay? Right, yeah. Both of those things need to be highlighted. But that just because those horrible, unjustified things happen to their members, that doesn't validate their ideology in any which shape or form. They are a right. cult. They indoctrinate their members. And just like how Mushtaba was being deceptive about his true beliefs, his true affiliations, they use deceptive means to entrap their members abroad in cult camps where they indoctrinate them separate them from their families. I mean, the depths of the practices of this group are horrific. People need to research this. What they've done to their members in Iraq, it's horrible. They were responsible for some of the first female suicide bombers in the world. These people have horrific beliefs. And what he did when he was trying to give explanations, when I brought up this fact in my super chat, he was saying, oh, well, politicians like Mike Pence, we're in, we have international parliamentarians. We have all these politicians that come and support us like Pompeo and Rudy Giuliani. This is deception. This is how they have operated from the beginning. They try to establish themselves as a legitimate alternative to the Islamic Republic of Iran. They are not. They commit horrific crimes. Don't they, let anyone they... try to like whitewash this. They, they, this is like how cults work is they use deception to entice people into their ideology. And that's what he's doing by painting himself as some progressive Muslim trying to help people escape the jungle of capitalism. It really they, pissed me off. They sent their own people into a battle knowing that this is a suicide mission for them to die on purpose for them to die. That's how this is how that's how evil these people are. Um, here's so I wish like you know next time uh, first of all I, I'll post a profit next time if you have somebody like this on like make sure you investigate what they're involved in. One thing I want you to ask an any MK member because these people are not are more loyal to Maryam Rajavi than they are to Islam. Okay, this is what they called the cult that they are they're in right they're just using the fact that they're peace like a different version of islam as a way to act like they are a you know good version of islam they, they're they're not they're not even loyal to anything about muhammad or they they're a weird branch of shia islam they have some of the shia symbolism they use imam hussein um as a way to um you know 
act like they are religious, you know, they, they, they are still, but they, most of their loyalty is to Mariam Rajavi. Ask, ask an MEK member to say something negative about Mariam Rajavi. These people, it, these people will not, like these people will not criticize, they will not question um, Mariam Rajavi. They might, they would say something negative about Muhammad before they would ever say anything negative about Mariam Rajavi. That is, the, that is what their cult is. Like this is, you, you are endorsing if, something that most people don't understand what this is. Like, don't let them portray themselves as a peaceful version of Islam. This is com something completely alien to most people. It's a weird, like, a fr again, like a Frankenstein monster that most people, like, first, they, if they get exposed to it, they don't even know what they're dealing with. And that's why um, they don't even know how to criticize it because it's such a, it's a, it's a, it's a cult that people are not familiar with. Um, yeah, like, yeah. oh, look at this. Basim is saying, yeah, their slogan is Iran, Maryam, Iran, Iran, Maryam. Yep. They consider Iran to be Maryam, right? Like there's like Iran, they cannot comprehend an Iran that Maryam is not the leader of, right? Like they, they're willing, they're willing for the, all of Iran to just go to, to be annihilated uh, if it means that Maryam will not be involved in leading it. That's what they are for. They're more loyal to Maryam than they are to the Iranian people. But yeah, go ahead. Mia is saying, please tell this to Har Sultan. Mustafa also often features on his channel, especially during call-ins. If that's true, this is a huge problem. This will not stand. And never let these people whitewash the blood that they have spilled of ordinary, innocent Iranian civilians in their so-called fight for freedom. Yeah. Spitting on the graves of all of those innocent people, okay? I need to talk to Horace about this. Yeah, and also, again, the members of the MEK, there, most of them are brainwashed innocent people. It's mostly the leadership. But the thing is that if they, if, yeah, if they come at you and tell you that the, 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 our members have been killed by the Islamic Republic, it's true. They have. But guess what? The leadership likes that. The leadership of the MEK sends its members to die because they want to use their victimhood as a way to promote their cult. The same way Falun Dafa, the same way other cults, the, the, the cult leaders, like, yes, the members are victims of oppressive regimes. Like the members of Falun Dafa are um, victims of chi uh, Chinese government. And the, victim, and the members of the MEK are victims of the Islamic Republic of uh, Iran. But the leaders of MEK and the leaders of Falun Dafa want to send their own members to be killed by these regimes as a way to use that as a marketing tactic, use the victimhood to promote the brand of their cult. Yep. I think the title of this clip should be Apostate Prophet Platforms a Terrorist Sympathizer. Oof. That's a note to our editor right now. Oh my God, jeez. I still love you, Apostate Prophet. Love you very much, but- <laughs> Oh my God. I, like we have to talk about this because like <laughs> I need people to know what that guy really stands for. It's really we love important. AP. <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah, but no, seriously, do some, like check these people before you platform them. I mean, I'm not, hey, by the way, I'm not against platforming them, but platform them and then confront them with the fact that they're a member of a terrorist group. Yeah. To anyway. be fair, he's very deceptive about what his beliefs are. When you had him on secular jihadists, you mm -hmm. talked to him for two hours before he was asked, who's a thought leader that you admire? And he said, Mariam Rajavi. And that's when it was all revealed. So no, he's no, no, very I didn't. deceptive. No, no, no. I started, like, he said something. I don't remember what he said, but he was like, he came in as a peaceful Muslim and I didn't know he was a member of the MEK, okay? But he said something that I, you're like, wait a minute. I know, I I know this brand of bullshit. Like he, he didn't mention MEK. He didn't say anything about the MEK, but he said, he starts speaking in a way. I'm like, I know this. And, and then I asked him about, wait, can you mention, do you have, no, I asked him specifically, wait, do you belong to, are you an MEK member? And he said, yes. I know, like, oh my God, we have a terrorist as our guest. <laughs> and then the rest of that episode turned into me, into me, like, laying. You went in. <laughs> Guys, if you want to hear that, go check out Secular Jihadist and look for um, something like uh, two ex Muslim atheists talk to an ex atheist Muslim, something like that. Yeah. And around no, the like, two yeah, hour I, I, I mark, that's when it gets spicy. 
I specifically remember it wasn't because I asked him who you admire that I realized that he he is MEK. It was because of his like no like Ghost Bunny. It wasn't like no, it wasn't this. It wasn't like I smell BS. I always smell BS. It was like I could tell the brand of the BS. I was like this like this is like I could recognize MEK vocabulary in his like in his apologetic methodology. That right? loaded it's language, hot. loaded yeah, cool yeah, yeah. language. Yeah, it was much. Yeah, yeah. I'm actually proud of recognizing that. Without without him ever saying that he's MEK, I the fact that I recognize all of a sudden, like, wait, is this MEK? Is this MEK propaganda? Like, I was so proud of myself when I just re recognized that without him saying that he's MEK. Like, anyway, <laughs> yeah, yeah. He's like, yeah, Armin went from zero to a hundred in less than a second. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. I would right. love it when you get like that. You were. Oh my god. Hey, so actually, good. actually let's def to defend AP, to defend AP. We had him on not knowing like we can't That's really what I was criticize saying. We can't really criticize Apostle Prophet that much because we had him on not knowing that he was MEK and you can't expect like somebody like Apostle Prophet to know to be familiar with the MEK. Like I'm Iranian, of course I'm going to be more familiar with the MEK than Apostle Prophet. So maybe like if we're gonna blame him for having him on, well, we had him on without knowing that he's MEK. It was just my familiarity with the MEK that made me realize this halfway through the show. So we can't like, so maybe maybe we will still put that in the title as clickbait, but but we but we really can't we can't. I mean, it's really not blame. clickbait. It did happen. We're just it did not, happen. We're being charitable we towards him. We, yeah, but we can't blame him for having. He didn't. Yeah, we did the same thing. Yeah. Right. Atheist Republic needs your help. We have been the target of many legal attacks by Hindu nationalists ever since our founder, Armin Ababi, blasphemed against Hindu deities. We have retained legal counsel to help us defend our access to our community in India. We have started a fundraiser that will help us afford to tackle many legal issues, including judicial harassment and censorship. Whatever you can contribute will go a long ways in helping us in this fight. Link in the description below.